Are you seeing this error on your website? In this video, I'll show you the five best ways to fix the critical error. Welcome to our channel. Our team has built multiple successful plugins and here we help you find your website mojo by sharing weekly videos to fix issues and improve performance. First, let's quickly understand what this error is. Much like the dreaded white screen of death, this error is usually caused due to an issue with your PHP files. Either your WordPress memory limit has been surpassed or there's an error in your code, plugins or theme or there has been some database corruption. In most cases, WordPress will send you a notification with various details about this error to your admin email address. So check your inbox and spam folder before going about fixing this issue. However, if you haven't received an email, don't worry about it. The next five fixes I'll share with you will get you out of this anyway. Let's begin. Number one, check if it's your theme or plugin. First, change your active theme to a default one and reload the site. If the site works, then the theme's at fault. You'll need to get a new one or load back to a previous version of a theme. If you're going to change to a new theme, I've added a video above to help you out with that. If the error is still present, it's time to check your plugins. Disable all the plugins from your dashboard by navigating to the plugins page. Click on the select all box and pick deactivate all from the option above it. If you cannot access your WP admin dashboard, use your FTP client and manually do so by going to the public HTML, then to W content and then to plugins. Rename the plugins folder into something else, say plugins disabled. Now try accessing your site. If the site works, then a plugin is at fault. Go back to your FTP client and rename the plugins folder back to its original name. Now enable each plugin one by one while checking your page after each to determine which one was causing the error. Number two, restore the site from a backup. Depending on whatever plugin you're using, simply access an earlier backup file and restore the site. If you're in the market for a backup plugin, there's none better than our very own blog one. It's a backup migration and staging plugin that's trusted by over 400,000 sites and is by far the easiest plugin to use for backups. Now, the next three methods involve digging into your PHP code and also working with it. So make sure that you're well versed with it or at least know a buddy who can help you out. Number three, check error log. Now, the location of this file is different depending on whatever host you use, but the file will be named error underscore log. Navigate to it using your FTP client. There are four PHP errors, warning, notice, parse, and fatal. If you see parse or fatal errors, you'll need to fix them. So get that programmer buddy of yours. Number four, debug your site. Debugging your site will generate error logs that will show you which piece of code is faltering and where. To enable it, open your website root directory and find the wpconfig.php file. Click on the public HTML folder and choose wpconfig.php. Add the following code inside the file. Then click the save and close button. Debugging is now enabled on your site and all the errors will be added in that log. You can find this in the WP content folder with the name debug.log. You can then just share these logs with your programmer buddy and your site should be fine. You can deactivate debugging mode by turning the true values back to false. Upgrade PHP version. This is probably not the cause, but it's worth a shot. Check the PHP version of your web host and make sure it's at or above 7.4. The versions supported are 7.3 to 8. If your PHP is below the supported ones, upgrade immediately. But a PHP upgrade is a big deal, so make sure you have a backup ready before trying it. And that's it. These solutions work for 90% cases. But if you are still stuck, I've attached a link in the description for an article that will help you out. Here are two other helpful videos for you. Comment below if you get stuck anywhere and I'll do my best to help you out. That's all for today. This is Julian, your friendly neighborhood geek, and I will see you again next week.